Hello everyone, um, my name is Inisani and I'll be presenting a, a review paper on the use of R programming for data analysis in Botswana research. So going through the going through the overview, I'll be talking about the background of research in Botswana, R programming, the objective of this study, the PRISM methodology, which is a systematic review that the paper used, the research areas that were found to have used R programming in Botswana research, then later on, we'll be looking at the findings, limitations, future work, as well as the conclusion. So to talk about where I'm from, Botswana and the Amel Khaboroni, which is the capital, it's a landlocked country in the southern area of Africa. It's between Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Namibia. It's known for its game drives, and Meghan Merkel's actual engagement ring was from Botswana in the northern side, which they normally frequent. It's also the largest diamond exportation in the world. Um, it's followed, well, actually Russia and I think Australia follows um, its exportation of diamonds. So research in Botswana is guided by the Monuments and Relics Act, which is the protection and safekeeping of ancient buildings in Botswana. While development oriented research is a priority, in the interest of expanding knowledge in various fields, Research of, of a more academic and theoretical nature is permitted wherever possible. Botswana has a national research science and technology plan, which is informed by the need for a center of excellence to earn a reputation as a significant resource for the progress of science and technology in the spirit of innovation. This plan tackles the dependency on imported fuels such as oil and electricity. It tackles the resurgence of diseases such as TB and HIV, it looks at the wealth of untapped indigenous knowledge in traditional Botswana society, such as traditional medicine, and the importance of a ICT as vital for the, for the country's future as a pervasive enabler of industry and development. The exploratory and descriptive statistics and research is done using STATA, SPSS, and Atlas TI, which are common in research. However, pro our programming is mostly used by statistici statisticians despite its great increased use in data science. However, very few research conducted in Botswana have used R programming for their data analysis. R programming is an open source uh, statistical tool, which was developed by Ross E. Haka in New Zealand, a, stat a statistician in New Zealand and his team. It was first used for statistics and visualization, but now it's grown to be used in machine learning, data, deep learning, as well as time series and data mining. It's also mostly used for research when it comes to the data science pipeline, when it comes to importing, trans transforming, feature engineering, and as well as the deployment of the, the, the findings. It also follows the fair principles of research. It has to be the data and the work also needs to be findable, accessible, interoperable, reproducible, which the R program supports. The R teach the R materials also under the Carpentries curriculum, which is an international organization that helps to teach early career researchers in programming. So the objective of this review is to provide a concise snapshot of the research to date investigating research in Botswana that have used R programming for the data science work. It also captures how the research used our programming capabilities in the data analysis experiments, that is looking at the packages used. So previous reviews have used, have seen Python programming to be robust and scalable for their work, but no review has actually looked at our programming applications within Botswana because it's still not widely known. It would also equip scientists and our practitioners in the methods and applications of our programming in Botswana. It also highlights the challenges of using our programming as well as identifying gaps in the data science field and opportunities for further research. So the methodology followed the PRISMA methodology, which is a systematic review. It's a systematic review method for reporting evidence in reviews and meta-analysis. And it's also, the, it's also the standard endorsed by organizations and journals. So as our it follow the looking at the flowchart, it follows some criteria that was used to screen some articles. So it looked at criteria such as ICT databases that to get the articles from. It looked at whether the articles were conducted in Botswana, whether they were the whether they used R programming, 
and whether the whether a subject was used in a certain research area and the number of times it was used there and it also had to be done within the current years which led to 18 articles being found and used so the research areas were found to be using our programming was in healthcare climatology conservation physical geography within Botswana so it looked it seems as though healthcare research area was using our programming the most followed by conservation and physical geography and followed by climatology by having only 11% of research found. So just to let you know that while we're looking at the, the our programming capabilities and packages, we're not, this review is not going to talk mostly about the formulas, functions and experiments in detail. We're just going to be enlisting it and that will be used in a future work. Going through the healthcare in Botswana, there have been numerous research conducted in Botswana in order to improve efficiency of health services by addressing potential barriers. It's part of the National Development Plan called Vision 2036, which aims to move Botswana from a middle income country to a high income country by 2036. A report by Evila in 2020 revealed that Botswana successfully expanded uh, ARV treatment to 380 people, 300,000 people who are living with HIV. However, the country needs to critically assess its efficient use of all available resources to sustain gains and continue progress to attain uh, targets and visions for ending AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. So the descriptive analysis from data collected from regions of Botswana has helped to understand the actuality of treatment distribution, ongoing treatment, and health institution management. Looking at the R program, R packages used in Botswana healthcare research, these were one called the forecast package, which implements automatic forecasting uh, methods such as exponential smoothing, ARIMA, the TETA, cubic splines, and other common forecasting methods. So one study by Lakshmi and Impale, who happened to be my colleagues at the University of Botswana, adopted a machine learning based time series model to forecast the COVID infections within two months. So they used the package to successfully um, implement the, the time series model. Another called an OCE package, which is actually used for oceanographic analysis, which is the study of seas and oceans. But this package and I analyze, han, handles the details of discipline, specific file formats, calculations, and plots. It's easy to document work with this package because its functions automatically update processing logs stored within its objects. Another study used the GPS coordinates of the administrative center of each health district before applying the elipsible formula for geodesic distance as implemented by the package. Ggplot2, which is a common package used for graphic plots and annotations, which allows in which allows developers to build any type of plot from dental dentograms, network graphs, and histograms. A research group from the University of Botswana sought to characterize genetic variation and to assess population substructure within a cohort of HIV-positive children from Botswana that is regionally unrepresented in the genomics databases. And they used annotations in the analysis that were visualized using ggplot2. So annotations are those um, comments that are you that are put within uh, a document or within uh, a graphic, within a graphics. Another package that was identified was SNPN package, which is used in genomic research. So it's used because of its use of using the principal component analysis and identity by descent measures. So the the group, Rita Bile's group from the University of Botswana, they study assess to they study assess to to assess the substructure within Botswana cohort, by the cohort that's underrepresented in the genetics uh, databases. So they followed the same QC pipeline as the principal component analysis, and they use the SNP relate package for this. Other packages include the ink tools, which is used for estimating incidents from biomarker data in cross sectional surveys, 
and for calibrating tests for recent infection. So the inspiration for the work of this package derived from challenges associated with estimating population HIV incidence levels. So Moyo's study determined HIV incidence in high HIV prevalence and high ARV coverage in Botswana. So all this statistical analysis was done using this package. Two packages which work on the same molecular evolution and comparative data is the APE and Adip Adipilo, um, Adipilo package. So Adip which we use the phylogenetics, which is a study of reconstructing the past evolutionary history of species. So a study by Novovitz tried to map the lineage for, okay. okay, sorry about that, which tried to map the lineage of HIV in Botswana. Both you used both the packages to try and map the molecular structure of HIV within a certain demographic in Botswana. The iGraph package also was used for healthcare research, which provides tools for researchers in network science. It contains routines for creating, manipulating, and visualizing networks, calculating various structural properties, importing and exporting to various file formats, and it also supports rapid development for possible prototyping. Novitsky uh, tried to use the VIX, for Novitsky's analysis, the spread, the analysis to spread, to find the spread of identified phylogenetically distinct lineages across communities, used um, this package to visualize the, the lineage. The physical geography was also another research area using, which identified what was, which was identified using our programming. So it makes up the landscape and lights, life, wildlife of Botswana. And there has been a lot of research that has been conducted because of it, such as the Okavango Research Institute, which uh, undertake, which provides training and service in wetlands and adjacent dry land and ecological systems with the support of the Southern African Science Service Center for Climate Change Adaptive Land Management. So looking at the R packages used in this research area, the METAP R, which is the analysis of, which is a package is used for the analysis of metabolomics data, which is the study of small molecules generated by a chemistry analysis called the gas chromatography mass spectrometry. So a study by Shilingo combined Metabar, Minitab, to classify the floral geographical origins of three commercially produced as well as three natural honeys from Zimbabwe, from Botswana and Zambia. So they use the Metab, Metab R package to calculate the peak intensities, display peak areas, and to normalize their findings. They also carried out an age test and the t-test on data generated by AMDIS for metabolomics. Another package, which is the, LM, the LMNE package, was developed for fitting and comparing Gaussian linear and nonlinear mixed effects models. A study by Fox classified multi decadal changes in land cover in the semi-arid Thobe district in northern, northeastern Botswana using post-classification analysis of land sat data sets from 1990, 2003, and 2013. So to calculate regressions to the data set, he used this package to, to use five autocorrelation structures, the exponential, Gaussian, spherical, linear, and rational quadratic. Carrot and R part are two packages that are used in classification and regression training. So the carrot has uh, predictive models, which was used by Fox to use to, to work on classification and, and performance measure. And Braggett used the R package to create the binary trees, which our package is used for. Another research area, which is conservation, aims to evaluate preservation practices for wildlife and landscape in Botswana. So st one study found that that the transition of savanna ecosystems to open shrubland across Botswana and in particular the western part of the Kalahari 
presents a considerable threat to the conservation of the econo economically important ranch industry. So in order to adapt, to develop adaptive man management strategies, the underlying environmental drivers of woody vegetation species need to be better understood. So by understanding the environmental drivers responsible for the diversity and abundance of vegetation, of woody vegetation. So the packages used in conservation includes the cluster package, which is used to find um, groups in the data, a study by Nicholas and Alexander evaluated mongoose den sites use and attributes across the northern area of Botswana and discussed implications for disease transmission in changing landscapes. So for their cluster analysis, they use the da DAISY algorithm, or the, which is in form of a method, which is in form of, of, of a method to create their cluster dendrograms. The RAFID package was also used to facilitate data explanation, also used by Nicholas and Alexander for data for to, to plot the remaining dentograms and for their deployment and exploratory graphics. The R part, which is used for classification and regression, was used by Nicholas and Alexander again so that they could create their decision trees. And another one called the party kit provides a common unified infrastructure for recursive partitioning. In particular, the party kit package provides tools for representing printing, plotting trees, and compute, computing predictions. Climatology, which is the, the last uh, re research area that used our programming identified in Botswana Research, includes measuring the change in rainfall and rainfall composition over a period of time. So historically, Botswana has depended on rainfall for crop production, livestock, and water source because the air is very dry because it's mostly a, a desert country. So no R, no R packages were found to be used in climatology. However, some research has used, it for, used R for the S analysis. They use it to calculate the fluxes in the rainfall, the spatial temporal, and for the descriptive analysis. So looking at the findings, we can see research in Botswana that have used R programming, have used it for statistical descriptive analysis and exploratory analysis to demonstrate the patterns in weather, national program evaluations, and change in the landscape. The variety of data visualization, mapping, biomarkering, and, geno and genomic operations used explain the many R packages used in the healthcare research. The reason for R package, packages used in certain research areas may be due to certain R packages being made for operations, such as the SNRP relate for genomics and the APE and the Adafilo for phylogenetics. So looking at the graph on the, the right, the most used R package across the different, okay, sorry, not on the right, but will be on the, the left, the research area by R package graph. We can see that R package, R part package in purple was used the most, which may be due for because it's class, may, which may be due because of its classification modeling. Classification was also seen to be the most used analysis in research because of the LMN, carrot, R packet, forecast, forecast, and party kit package used for classification, regression, and version modeling. So this proves that our program, our programming can be used for machine learning, contrary to common belief that machine learning is only appropriate for, for Python programming. So as R is, what was found that as R is an open, sorry about that, as R as an open source package, it's open to developers to create packages that have operations to perform a certain function. So all the R packages that have been used in research have been created by developers outside Africa, which is seen to be a limitation. So to the best of to the best of my knowledge, there haven't been any no, there haven't been any documented R packages created by R practitioners from Botswana or Africa. However, the R packages used have been necessary to carry out particular functions such as classification using the MetaB R. Under the limitations, this review focused on the research conducted in Botswana that used our program or our programming for data science and didn't compare other research across Africa that use our programming. 
The infrequent use of the R programming in research may be due to the limited R experts who are proficient in R programming. A study by Keeping in 2018 had assistance for coding in R and for assistance with graphics from programmers from other universities outside Botswana. So a reason to the limited R proficiency may be that in academia, SPSS, Stata and Atlas TI are commonly taught for data science and they're more accepted and are still popular for descriptive statistical analysis. In Botswana, very few people know about our programming for data science and for project work. And those who do know it still consider it as a statistical computing software, even though it's been used for predictive modeling and classification as we've seen with tidy model and carrot packages. So as part of the future work, our programming which uses machine learning can be evaluated. So this review paper also did not look at the statistical models used by each study due to the number of models per study. So this can be used as future work to consider which statistical models are appropriate for a research area. Going through the conclusion, we've seen that this review paper looks at the identifying the research areas and how our, uh, how Botswana Research has used our programming. This paper followed this uh, study followed the PRISMA methodology it was found that healthcare, physical geography, and conservation was used in used um, R programming as well as climatology. It was found that the most uh, the packages were mostly used in healthcare, ranging from genomics, networking, and R packet. And the R part package was used across all research areas as the most widely used package. And it was also found that cl cl um, classification was the most used technique in all the research areas. And it was also found that few research experiments conducted in R, it found that the, the reason why R programming isn't, isn't mostly used is because of the few experts who use R. And um, the review didn't compare the work with other African countries and a revaluation of R in predictive modeling and statistics models can be used and can be conducted for future work. So thank you for listening to presentation and if I'll take any questions.